Today, I'm going to show you how to use inbuilt Laravel methods and notification template to build forward password APIs really fast. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's start. Create a new controller using command php artisan make controller forgot password controller. Open it and write a new function for call. First, we need to validate the request. So from request, validate email for required and email validation rule. Now we will use password class, which is already present in Laravel framework and call function send reset link. Pass in the credentials from request, which contains email. And finally return success message in response reset password link sent on your email id now if you're confused with respond with message function then you can watch suggested video above to see how i added that function to keep response consistent across the application and you can even return json response directly from here if you want next add the route for this function in api.php file before we proceed let's take a look at this send reset link function if we go inside password class we can see that it's a facade which is using password broker class inside password broker we can find the implementation of function here and here we are sending the forgot password notification to find the implementation of password reset notification go to user model And if we take a look at that, then it is using can reset password inside which we can find the function used for sending notification and reset password notification. Take a look inside reset password notification and here we can find this template logic. One thing to note here is the route name. We don't have this route, so let's create this route inside web.php. Now I have already created this route which points to a view. If you're using Laravel braid files then you can create a braid.php file something like this or you can even redirect it with parameters to your content URL as well. If we look into this view file which I'm using then it has a very simple form containing four fields. Here I've kept the token field hidden and its value is already pre-filled using token provided in URL. On submit button of this form, I'm calling reset password API with the following input fields value in request. But we haven't created this yet. So let's do that inside api.php file. Password slash reset for reset function inside forward password controller. Let's write the logic for reset function. First, we will validate the request fields. Email required password required string of maximum 25 characters and confirm rule for validating password underscore confirmation field which should have the same value as that of password inside request and finally token store validated values in credentials variable again we will be using password class to call reset function and pass in credentials and a callable function to be called in case of success which will provide us instance of user and the new password now we need to update the user password with the new password provided by user and save it but what if the token provided by user is wrong or expired in case of such error reset function will return us invalid token string Let's store it in a variable. Check if reset password status is equal to value of invalid token constant. And if that's the case, then respond with error. Again, you can return JSON response directly from here if you want. But since we are following some rules for keeping response consistent, so we will add the API code 
inside apicode.php file and write this error message inside localization file. Now we will map this error code with message and then we can use this error code here. Finally, if everything goes well, then return success message. Password successfully changed. That's it. Let's try this in Postman. Create a new test user. If we try to log in with this user, then it works fine. Let's call our forgot password API for this email. And we got success message. Now since I have set mailer to log, so we can find the content of email in our log file. Here is the email and reset password page link. If we open this link then we will be taken to a simple form page that I created for testing but you can change it as per your requirement. Let's try calling the API through Postman instead of page to get more clarity. Copy the token and paste it here. Change the email and set the new password. Click send and we get success message. Try logging in using the new password in login API. And it works. That's all for this video. Link to the entire code is given in the description. If you like this video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.